Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how you can easily remote manage your Raspberry Pi 4 or 5 from anywhere in the world, assuming of course you have an active internet connection. So for this purpose today, we're going to be using a fantastic piece of software called the Raspberry Pi Connect. And this will allow you to manage your machine either through a command line interface, or if you want a fully blown desktop session. Plus, since this is going to be achieved using a web browser, then in theory it should work on any operating system out there, Mac OS, Windows, Linux, iOS, and Android. I mean, if you really wanted to, you could get particularly funky and access it through your smart TV or your PS5's browser if you really wanted to go that route. Anyhow, let's crack on with the rest of the video. Okay, so the first step in the whole process is to update your Raspberry Pi to the latest supported version of Raspberry Pi OS. Now, for my particular case, I have a headless Raspberry Pi running on my network, so I'm going to be accessing it through SSH. But really, you can just replicate the same process if you've got a mouse, a keyboard, or even a monitor hooked up to yours. In fact, if you've already got an existing room at a desktop session, we can pretty much cover the same steps. So the easiest way to do this is to open up a terminal session, and you want to run the following command. sudo apt update ampersand ampersand sudo apt full dash upgrade and then y. So now that the system's up to date, we can install the Raspberry Pi Connect with the following command which is sudo apt install rpi dash connect. Once that's installed, we need to now start a accompanying service, which once again, we can do with this command. rpi dash connect, and then the word on. Now, if this is successful, you should see a message along the lines of Raspberry Pi connect has started. And the final command we're gonna run is to merely just to ensure that this service will persist after the reboot. And that command is login ctl enable dash linger okay so now at this stage we've now set up raspberry pi connect it's all good for use but in order to connect remotely to our raspberry pi we need to next make a raspberry pi id user account so in order to do this we need to visit id.raspberrypi.com slash sign up and really it's just a matter of full instructions from here you're going to create a new account using an email and password and then obviously give yourself a nickname now, once you've completed that, that step, we want to move across back to the terminal session. Only this time, we're going to run the following command. rpi-connect sign in. Now, in my case, I'm already signed in and it's set up. However, if you follow this guide, you should get something like the following message. Complete the sign in by visiting https connectraspberrypicom verify and then your unique code. Now, assuming that everything's gone right, then you should now see the name device listed on the screen in front of you. Okay, so now that everything's ready to go, it's time to demonstrate how a Raspberry Pi Connect works. Now, as you can see on the right-hand side of this page, there's a little tab here that says Connect Via. And if you click on here, you get two options. You've got Screen Sharing and Remote Shell, which corresponds to a GUI session or Remote Desktop session or alternatively, remote shell corresponds to a command line interface. So for example, if we click on the screen sharing, what this will do is open up a new interactive remote desktop connection to your Raspberry Pi desktop environment within a browser tab. And from here, it's just a matter of just using your system as you normally would do, and you're able to copy and paste from the session respectively. You can also full screen it. And then once you're happy with doing what you need to do, simply just close down the tab. Now, alternatively, you can choose the option here where it says Remote Shell. And what this will do instead is just load up a terminal session basically nested inside of a browser tab. Once again, if you finish with your session, done what you need to do, then just click the X. In either case, you've now got a fantastic option that's going to allow you to directly interact with your Raspberry Pi, either through a command line interface or a fully blown remote desktop session, all through an active internet connection. And with that, you're all sorted. So in conclusion, Raspberry Pi Connect is really a game changer for me, as it allows me to remotely manage my Raspberry Pi from pretty much anywhere in the world that has an active internet connection. So I could be at home, could be at work, doesn't matter. I can simply boot up a browser, sign to my account, and then do what I need to do. And it also removes the annoying complication of setting up port forwarding on your local router, or even just using traditional RDP clients through an internet connection. Instead, what you've got now is a simple and easy to use, universally supported browser-based method. 
In either case, thank you for watching this video today. And if you did find it helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and subscribe to this channel to see more content like this soon. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye then.